What up, y'all? Daryl Rostick, Smart Shooters, LLC. Today, we are out on the range, and we are reviewing the Glock 42, our pocket pistol. All right? I feel like everybody should have a pocket pistol. I'm going to tell y'all why. Let's get into it. All right, y'all. So as you can see, before we get going, the gun is empty. Glock 42. So this is a chambered in 380. This is Glock's version of a easy to use pistol. Um, it's growing to be one of my favorites because I feel like everybody should have a pocket pistol. Um, today in Michigan, it's our last warm day of the year probably. Um, but I got on basketball shorts for the sake of just demonstrating. It's nice to have a pistol that's small enough, it's light enough to carry with you when you got on sweatpants or hoop shorts and still be efficient. A Glock 42 um, has six rounds, so a six plus one. So we gonna learn what 380 is like together. I say we do it right now. There is absolutely no recoil on this gun, all right? Um, this almost felt like shooting a 22. That's crazy. Never shot a 380 before. Um, man, I gotta get that other mag. I'm about to grab another mag. Let's do it again. Okay. All right, y'all. <laughs> so me, I got my brother out here with me. We both just shot this for the first time. It's both of our first time shooting 380. I'm gonna tell you the pros already, all right? Glock 42, the pros is zippy zap recoil. There's no recoil on this gun whatsoever. Um, Man, it almost didn't feel real shooting it. And I, that's really surprising because most times guns with short barrels have a lot of recoil. Uh, Glock did a really good job. This gun is heavier than say like a Smith & Wesson Bodyguard 380. Um, Glock did a good job engineering all the recoil out of this, but yet still making it big enough for us to get a proper grip. Now, I am using the magazines that got the little beaver tip on it just to extend my grip, but we can still grip the firearm properly. Put our hand in between here. Still good to go. I'm I'm impressed. I'm going to shoot it again. I'm, I'm, I'm loving it. Is the accurate shooting gun. Um, man, we gonna load up and do it again. <laughs> all right, man, so I'm still out here. I'm still loving this, all right? <laughs> this is a nice pocket pistol, man. Everybody needs a pocket pistol, all right? Everybody needs one. One, this is like a beach gun, going to the state park, whatever hanging with the family, something where you don't have a big bulge hanging up off you. Everybody need one of these, all right? Got two mags, let's get to shooting and see what's up. Mag swap was a little sloppy. I love this gun. <laughs> That's a little sloppy. But it's because I got deep pockets in these basketball shorts. I got some deep pocket shorts. Anyways, you need this. I ain't said there are definitely some pocket pistols you should stay away from. I would say there's some, like the Bodyguard 380 by Smith & Wesson where the barrel is even shorter. Stay away from those, super snappy. The recoil is terrible, terrible. That's right, this is not my first time shooting 380. I remember that. I tested out a Bodyguard just cause it had a little laser on it. 
Mm -mm. Not the way. All right. This is what you need. If you're a first time gun owner, I definitely recommend getting this. All right. All right. So I'm going to try running this drill again. Just something to practice shooting on the move. We're going to do two shots from that side of the barrel. Come around our barrel. One shot. Drop. Pick up our mag. Reload. And then last shot. All right. Let's see how it go. Stuck. <laughs> All right, so another con to the 380 now that we're actually moving and shooting with it is uh, when I tried to drop the mag on that last run, I, the mag got stuck. I couldn't get it to just drop freely. Um, that's a big thing for me. I don't know if it was just me. I don't know if it's because I had it at a weird angle. We're going to try to run the drill again and see. Ah. Nope. Same thing. Definitely not easy to navigate with big hands. Finger got caught in the trigger guard. Go try it again. All right, y'all. I'm gonna run it again with the 380. Now that we done done the drill a couple times, it could just be the operator. We're gonna find out. That gun just too small for the drill because the operator is perfect. So clearly Glock engineered that gun wrong. <laughs> This 380 ain't bad. <laughs> this is what you need. If I had to give it a score, I definitely would give it a good seven out of 10. Some things wrong with it. Um, a couple things, like only having six shots. That's just my personal opinion. I don't like to go anywhere without at least 10 shots, but you carry a spare mag. You mag change better than I just did, and you'll be all good. Um, the only other thing I do not like about this, and it could just be because I have big hands, is while I'm shooting, my finger tends to slip off. So, anyway, 7 out of 10 is my score. Definitely a great gun, a budget-friendly gun. Everybody needs a pocket pistol. Rather than when you dress up and you can't afford to have anything bulging off your hip. If you're at the grocery store, you need something light to just throw in your purse. Something small to keep in the car as a just-in-case gun. 380s make good backup guns, so they say this is it. All right? Glock 42.